Hi, this is PC Roger. I wanted to do this short box opening video on this new TrendNet uh, Megapixel PoE Day Night Internet Camera. Uh, it's kind of a mouthful, but it's just a little security camera. It happens to have some infrared lights on it so that it can see in the dark. It also does not need a power adapter if you have a power over Ethernet either switch or an injector. And if that's uh, beyond what you're thinking of normally, just forget about it for now. One of the reasons I wanted to do this box opening video is because when I was doing the research, I wasn't sure based upon all the emphasis on this PoE that it even had a power adapter in it. I wanted to make sure it did. So I went ahead and bought one. I normally use these little access cameras. I've used them for quite a while. I've been pretty happy with them. Uh, however, a couple things uh, made me take a look at this TrendNet. One was the fact that I've worked with other TrendNet products for a long time, but it also happens to have a very nice price point, about half the price of the Axis. It does have the day-night uh, feature and does have the power over ethernet feature built in. So I thought I would take a look at it and just see if it's worth the money. So let's go ahead and open the box. I took the cellophane off of it. Nice pretty box. Gotta have a pretty box, don't we? Okay, well I'd rather have a product that works. One other thing that I might mention about the TrendNet over, say, the Axis camera was the warranty. Uh, I'm gonna double check, but uh, it was advertised as a three-year warranty, and, and the Axis is only one year. Plus it comes with some nice software built in uh, for free, so we're gonna try all that out. We have here the camera, some cardboard, killed a few trees, we'll Throw that away. And inside the rest of the box, we have Ethernet cable, probably about six feet by the look of it, and a power adapter, so you don't have to have power over Ethernet. That's kind of nice. And then here's this stand or mounting bracket combination. More cardboard. So it looks to me it's kind of like the standard mounting, although probably not a, uh, a clip-on option like the Axis does come with. And it's going to look something like this, or depending upon how you mount it, something like this. It is a little bit bigger than the Axis, as you can see, actually quite a bit bigger. But we're going to find out whether all that's worth it. Now in the box too, here's a CD, which I hope I don't need to use, other than maybe for uh, some actual software. I like it when the setup of the camera with the IP address is just so intuitive I could figure it out without a CD and don't need any special software to do it. But sometimes there's a, there's a utility that makes it a lot easier. And a little printed book, probably in 12 languages. Maybe one of them is even English. So that's pretty much it. We have the camera, we have the stand, some mounting hardware. It will swivel, according to this, by the look of it. And we have that power adapter. Also have an ethernet cable. It is just a Cat5 patch cable. Now here are the contents of the bag unwrapped a little bit more so you can see how the bracket actually mounts to the camera. Now you do have some uh, drywall lags and three screws to mount the, the bracket to a wall if you so desire. I do kind of like the just mounting it on a board and setting it someplace for you know mobile usage. Put it where you want to, the time where you want to. There's four little, I think, the rubber feet to go on the bottom if you do just set it on something. But otherwise, you have the camera, the bracket, and here's what goes in between. And you can simply screw the little bracket onto the camera and snug it down. It's got a Kind of rubber washer there. Then this back, this uh, triangular uh, knob, that screws off. Then you put this little black washer on here. Put that through the bracket and tighten the cap on the back. Now this actually is shown in the uh, PDF manual that comes on the CD that was in the box. And then once you, uh, once you have it there, this, it does swivel, and with this little finger knob here, you can uh, tighten it down once you get it in place. It'll rotate and it'll go a couple different directions, and you can kind of make it go wherever you want it to go, depending upon how you have all this configured. 
like I said, I think these little black feeders go on the bottom if you do set it on something, but, but that's it for uh, actually putting the camera together. So you just plug it in and, uh, and go from there. And if you do have power over ethernet, all you need is the Cat5 cable to connect it up and you're ready to go. Otherwise, you do have this uh, side mount uh, power adapter. It's got the, uh, hopefully configured in a way so it doesn't take up three outlets in your surge protector or, or uh, take a lot of space in your outlet. Plugs in the back, the camera's ready to go. So that pretty much wraps it up. We've got the box, it's open, and we've had a chance to just take a look at what comes in the box. Now, in our next video, we'll be uh, setting it up and actually uh, configuring it on our network and seeing if we can uh, get that uh, little smartphone picture and some of the other things that it promises and see how well the day-night feature works. It says up about seven and a half meters and for the rest of us that don't work in meters every day, it's probably between 20 and 25 feet. That's pretty typical for a lot of these uh, types of cameras and really not all that bad for something this small and this inexpensive. So that's it for this video. Please come to my website, PCRoger.com. I've got a link in the description of the video. You just click that link, and it'll take you straight to this item on Amazon.com if you want to check it out. You can go to my website. I'll also have the link in the description of the video. You can click on that and come over and uh, kind of follow me as I, as I start using this and putting it through its paces and comparing it to the axis and, uh, and seeing how it works. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.